Whoa, 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 What is up, whack people? Well, first of all, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in this week and getting this whack wisdom. I hope everything's amazing for you all, as always. I am, of course, your host, Honorable OCT Octavius Hay, and this is the Whack Ass Podcast. Before we continue with the show today, please, if you have not already, and watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a new content on this channel. If you're listening on the podcast uh, platforms we're on, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, please make sure you follow that so you get those notifications as well. Uh, so with all that technical out the way, let's go ahead and talk whack to them. Let's talk whack to them. Okay, so something very weak, as you all may know by now, is that the godfather, the leader, I would say, of the Red Pill community, uh, the leader, I would say, of the Manosphere, Kevin Samuels has unfortunately passed away at the age of 57. Um, A very, very, very sad shock. It was a rumor for, like, the whole day yesterday, but nobody was verifying it. It seems now we have a, at least it's been reported that his mother has verified that he's passed away. Of course, a lot of, you know, condolences out there for people that loved him, that knew him, that learned from him, like myself. Um, It was said that he had met up with a female, a 32-year-old woman, the day before he passed away, and they were actually um, they had spent the night together, and then the next day he had, he was complaining about chest pains, and I think she was going to be helping, trying to help him. She was a nurse, and he ended up passing out on her. She called you know 911 to come for the ambulance. Uh, she was trying to revive. I think she even talked to the hotel staff to bring him something to try to help him out. She was trying to revive him, uh, but unfortunately he was not able to be revived. And we said Kevin Samuels has passed away. Um, my condolences to his family and to his loved ones who knew him personally. Of course, us I was just a fan. Us as fans, though, we are just as, well, not just as hurt, I'm sorry, not just as hurt at all, but we, at, at all, but we are hurt. You know, the Godfather meant a lot to a lot of people. Uh, but the Godfather also had his detractors. The Godfather also had people who did not like him, who did not see the value in his wisdom. And just, you know, we're seeing that now with, you know, some of these disgusting comments, which are people being negative or vile on the Internet. Big surprise, I know. But it's just you see so many people jumping up and down like they want to celebrate the, this man's passing. when he's left behind a daughter. He's left behind a mother. He has siblings, you know, you know, a bunch of other loved ones, people here who are still here today who are hurting over his passing. And, and you see so many negative comments you know, celebrating, that's what he gets, and all things like that, and I'm just confused, I'm like, why, why, because he, he held women accountable, because he made, he told women that, that they have to be valuable to a man as much as a man is valuable to a woman, because he exposed a lot of times that women, they don't want to be traditional women, but they want men to be traditional, and do all the same stuff that the men had to do, but want to call um, you sexist, or want to say, you know, uh, um, you know, women's rights in this 21st century and things like that. When you want the same in return, the, because he said he questioned. Uh, well, he made women realize that you know, or like mothers realize, uh, baby mamas realize that if a man's gonna take care of your child, you have to show him gratitude for that. That he, he doesn't owe you that. That that is a big thing to have a man be responsible for your child that you brought into. Just common sense things like that upset you. Was it his tone? You didn't like Kevin's tone? Okay, but this is his show, and this is how he talks. These women call in. And he would always say that, if you want to pri- book me for a private session, you know, pay for my advice, we can do a little bit more professional. But, hey, he was, he was on YouTube. He had a platform. He was a content creator. What, do, what more do you want from him? That's, he, he has to make this entertaining. And he, he was perfectly honest with that. He said that many times. Uh, so I just, it's disgusting to see people celebrating a, a man's passing because of his opinions, because he wanted women to uh, respect the black community or to respect the black men more. 
And he was advocating for that. He was advocating for um, men to do better as well, but nobody wants to talk about that. He was advocating for men to um, act like men and, you know, hold themselves accountable, be providers, be leaders, you know, work hard, you know, strive to attain something before you strive to get a woman. Just, you know, things like that. He wanted us to come together. Uh, black, and he, he talked often talked about it a lot in our community, how we're so divisive, how we're so against each other. And he wanted us to come together. So I, I always uh, thank Kevin for everything he's taught me. Like I said, I, I was a huge fan of his. I watched him all the time, like throughout the day. Clips, whole shows, anything. I, I always watch him on other people's shows, people reacting to his stuff. I was a huge Kevin fan, still a huge Kevin uh, Samuels fan. It just in shock, can't believe it. You know, but I'm thankful for him. You know, words of encouragement that he's given out, or the words of wisdom that he's given out to make me want to be do better in my life. And I owe a lot of that to Kevin Samuels and the way he worded things. You know, uh, I was so happy when I first found him because finally somebody was talking about women the way I kind of think of, talk about women, or talking about relationships the way I talk about relationships and interacting with women and how there are consequences to your actions and a lot of times women don't think they are that they, they can just go out and have babies or have you know, multiple partners and be known for doing that and that a man's just supposed to be okay with that like men don't have preference and standards as well and so I, I was so happy to hear him say that as I listened to him more I realized he had a lot of information about what men are doing wrong and what they need to do to do better and I took that in just as well and I love that so um, just a sad day sad time Especially for his family, you know, prayers and wishes out to them. Uh, I just want to say to the Godfather, Kevin Samuels, thank you so much. I've enjoyed your content so much. I've learned so much. And it's been a great time with you. It's been great having you. For however short amount of time you were in my life, you know, you were a blessing from God to give us all this knowledge. And um, you rest up, man. You deserve it. Rest in power. Pe- po- rest in power, peace, and positivity, man. Great, great soldiers, Kevin Samuels, Mr. Samuels, the Godfather. We always love you, man. It's the Wackass Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. It's the Wackass Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.